Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a very exciting video today. The catalog from some foreign country has leaked all of the Star Wars sets and there is one really big one that no one knew about. Oh my goodness, so excited about that. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So the very first set that we have to talk about here is the Advent Calendar and this is set number 75307. This is going to be retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. And this is really neat. Like, there's a couple of cool figures here. We've got a little baby Santa. We got a little Santa Baby Yoda or the child Grogu. Gotta cover all my bases, but it looks cool. We've got a Tusken Raider, a Scout Trooper, a Storm Trooper, and IG-11. And those are just some of the builds as well. We've got... It's clearly Mandalorian themed. And also, it says the child there for some reason. But uh, anyways, that's just the first set. The next set that we have to talk about here is set number 75310. This was rumored to be retailing for $19.99 USD or $24.99 Canadian. And this is really cool looking. I think it's it's a simple build. And I don't know where the price necessarily is for this. It seems like a much cheaper set. But like the characters, of course, are going to up that price. But you're getting the Clone Wars Ahsoka from the ATT from last year. As well as a brand new Maul figure and the throne on Mandalore. I cannot wait to see like the actual details here for this set like i think that the picture whatever that is behind the mural is going to look amazing as well as the prison that maul is locked up in i cannot wait to see what that looks like up close like that is so exciting i think it's a small little build it just feels like it's lacking there could be something behind there but we can't really see from these pictures Next up here, we have set number 75311. This is the Imperial Troop Transport, and this will be retailing for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. And this comes with Grief Karga as well as a Mortar Trooper, I believe is what they're called, and two Stormtroopers, it looks like. And this is a pretty solid set. Like, it looks like a fun set. It's, of course, from Season 2 as well. We're getting a new Grief Karga, which is going to excite a lot of people, and I love that we're getting a new Stormtrooper variant as well. For the price, I think that it's pretty solid. Like, it does seem like a big ship, so I don't necessarily have too much of a problem with it, and four figures as well. I think that this is going to be one that a lot of people want to get multiple times to kind of build up their Stormtrooper army. I definitely think that I'll probably pick up a couple myself. Next up here, we have set number 75312. This is the Slave 1, and it'll be retailing for $49.99 USD or $59.99 Canadian. Now, the original source for the leak said that this was going to be coming with Han Solo and Boba Fett. But no, it is based off of the Mandalorian. And this actually has a brand new Boba Fett from Season 2, which I cannot wait to see what that looks like up close i really hope that he has a new face print underneath i think that'll be really cool to have like the eyebrows and everything missing i really am excited about that and it comes with the mandalorian din Djarin himself with the best car spear which is pretty neat and honestly like the price of this is really good i think that it's one of like the newer things that lego's trying to do where they're having these iconic vehicles like the x-wing and the tie fighter from the january wave and they're just making them cheaper so i'm really excited to see like what is going on in that set honestly i think they definitely could have included mayfeld in the set just to add someone else and maybe the child but i guess like timeline wise he wouldn't have the child but i don't know it just feels like it's missing something two figures for that set mm, even the x-wing and the tie fighter had more than that Next up here, we have set number 75314, and this is the Bad Bat Shuttle. We have a whole separate video actually talking about this, and you can pre-order it right now on LEGO Shop at Home already. This thing is going to be retailing for $99.99 USD and $139.99 Canadian. It comes with Wrecker, Hunter, Tech, Echo, as well as Crosshair in his Imperial outfit. Unfortunately, Omega's not here, but I'm sure that at some point she'll pop up in another set. But again, you could check out that other video if you want to hear my thoughts more in depth with that. But next up here, we have set number 75315. This is Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser. This will be retailing for $159.99 USD. So that'll probably be like $229. Canadian, I don't know. That that's going to be a lot more. But anyways, this set is insane. The figures here are just wow. It comes with Grogu, Din Djarin, Cara Dune, Finnick, 
Moff Gideon and a Dark Trooper. Unfortunately, Moff Gideon doesn't have a new piece for the Dark Saber. I was really hoping he would, but it's a just a black lightsaber blade on a regular lightsaber hilt. Yikes, I hope they update that in the future, but like they went all out with Fennec and the Dark Trooper, so can't really complain too much. But I really love his cruiser. It looks so cool. I love the little micro TIE Fighters. It reminds me of that one Rebel set, and I just really like this thing. Like, I don't mind that it's not necessarily in scale with, like, other ships. I mean, the price of this would be so much more. But I'm so excited to see the interior here. It does appear that there's only one Dark Trooper, which I'm kind of disappointed about. I would have definitely liked another one, but I still think that it's a really solid set. But lastly here, this is set number 75316. This is the Mandalorian Fighter, and this is going to be retailing for $59.99 USD, or $69, probably $79.99 Canadian with the conversion there. But oh my goodness, the figures here are just amazing. It comes with Gar Saxon, Bo-Katan, as well as a, another Mandalorian fighter. But look at Gar Saxon there and that new helmet. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool with the spikes there, as well as Bo-Katan. Like, people are just going to buy that for her, of course, of, because of her appearance in the Mandalorian. But I am so blown away by these sets. This is such a solid wave after everyone complaining about Star Wars only getting original trilogy sets. Lego finally has listened and just like went all out here with the Mandalorian. And I just hope that like they do the same thing with Marvel because I feel like this first year for the show's launching, they just absolutely have neglected it so far. There's still what if sets and things like that that have been revealed and we've got the CMF series, but I just feel like they neglected the Mandalorian its first year. And then this second year, they have just gone all out with everything and going back and doing some things from the Clone Wars final season as well that are just things that fans have been wanting for such a long time. There's so many characters here that people have wanted, so many new outfits. Like It is just honestly such a perfect wave, I think, for Star Wars. This is going to be... like I, I don't think that there's a set here that I won't be getting now because of how they've distributed all the characters across all the different sets. Like it, They've really done well i think with that and they're gonna get so many people to buy all of them but and i'm excited to see the future here for star wars and what this means going forward like are they gonna go back and finish some stuff for season one because this is very heavily season two and what does that mean for like the 10 star wars shows that are in development as well Anyways, everyone, what do you think of these sets? Leave your thoughts, your comments down below. Let me know what sets are you going to be picking up on August the 1st. And as well, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on when these sets are officially revealed and we get higher quality images and potentially reviews. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.